About 3 million people across East Africa have been affected by rain, floods and mudslides in recent weeks. Many people have been killed, about half of them in Kenya. A local fisherman was rescued after being stranded on a small island for three days. I had gone there on Friday for fishing. When I was going there, there was no water. Water flooded suddenly, and in two minutes, I was surrounded and couldn't cross. Homes have been demolished and crops destroyed. Damaged roads and bridges make it hard to reach remote villages and deliver aid. Residents are leaving flooded communities in search of dry ground. A man who recently buried his wife is afraid the floods could bring her coffin out of the grave. Maybe today, when more water comes, we may remove my wife's coffin from the grave. We are putting big rocks on top of the grave to prevent the coffin from coming out due to these floods. The whole region is facing food shortages. We don't have farms to cultivate, and even our cows were taken away by the floods of waters, so we have a big problem. Heavy rains caused devastating floods in parts of South Sudan, forcing communities once displaced by violence to move again. The United Nations Mission for South Sudan in Akobo is struggling to provide the basic services for thousands of affected people. This area here is being low-lying. Uh, the water's coming down from Ethiopia as well. It's a, it's a real tragedy. Um, we'll go back and have a talk to uh, the, the humanitarians. The World Food Programme is already sending some food through British-based Oxfam, but the UN representative for South Sudan says the scale of the need is bigger than anyone thought. Yes, we can provide emergency support now, but these people are, relied, are going to rely or have been relying for years and years on harvests. Those harvests are likely to be badly affected, so there's going to be less food that they're going to grow themselves, and so therefore they might be more dependent on food coming in from outside. Rain is common in East Africa between October and December, but not in such abundance. Scientists are blaming the exceptionally heavy rainfalls on the warmer water temperatures in the Indian Ocean. They lead to higher evaporation of water and subsequently more rain. Zlaritsa Hoke, VO News, Washington.